There is a possibility that North Korea will go for an intercontinental ballistic missile launch sometime this month. A senior South Korea's presidential office says. To better respond to such threats, Seoul, Washington, and Tokyo will start sharing real time data on the North's missiles by the end of the year. Our Penji leads us this morning. A senior presidential official has said there is a possibility that North Korea could launch an intercontinental ballistic missile this month. The first deputy chief of the National Security Office, Kim Tae-yo, said this as he arrived in Washington, D.C. for a high-profile meeting. He did not elaborate on what intelligence led him to believe so or if related information has been shared with the U.S., but added that a ballistic missile launch using ICBM technology is a subject of extended deterrence discussions between Seoul and Washington. He also noted that regardless of the range of the ballistic missile, if a nuclear weapon is loaded onto it, it is a nuclear threat and an attack against South Korea. Kim is scheduled to take part in the second meeting of the Nuclear Consultative Group, a security meeting designed to discuss nuclear and strategic planning issues between Seoul and Washington. In the meantime, South Korea, the U.S., and Japan plan to start sharing data on North Korea missiles in real time. The Pentagon spokesperson said in a briefing on Thursday local time that the three countries are working together to operationalize the system by the end of 2023. That we are hard at work on delivering on those agreements. Uh, we are on schedule to deliver by the end of this year. His remarks come a day after the White House National Security Council Senior Director for East Asia and Oceania, Mira Rapp Hooper, said the data sharing system is expected to become operational within the next few days. Earlier in August, the leaders of the three countries agreed to step up efforts to counter evolving North Korean nuclear missile threats. Pyeongchi, Arirang News.